I'd like to show you how easy it is to take a spike picture and import it into AutoCAD for direct measurement. So here's a picture taken with spike. It's in the spike cloud. Let's go and have a look at it. Now the first thing we need to check is the alignment. The alignment is a rectangle on the surface that you're interested in. That's the plane that we're going to measure with the spike. Now this rectangle tells Spike what the angle is between the camera and the surface of interest. So find the biggest rectangle that you can and move the alignment rectangle to fit it. So there's the alignment rectangle, it's all done. Usually in Spike we would then go to the measuring tab and use our measuring tools to measure directly on this image. But today we're going to go and take this file, put it into AutoCAD. By clicking on Report, Download, and then Scaled Image, we're downloading a special file which has the perspective taken out of it, so it's been deskewed, and also we've precisely calculated the um, dots per inch. So to bring the image into the AutoCAD environment, we just treat it like a normal raster image. Insert, select the file that we're after. You notice that uh, the special image is a little bit different from the one we looked at. It's got a little black area around the edges, and that signifies that the perspective has been corrected. So the image is now square on to the surface of interest. Um, we're going to turn the scale off, so that means that the precisely calculated scale by Spike is preserved, and then Let's come and have a look at some of the special features. The resolution has been calculated by Spike to be three dots per inch. So every pixel in the image, or th every three pixels in the image, represents one inch of real life. Uh, the units have been set in AutoCAD to inches. That's important to check. Maybe your template um, hasn't had them defined, so you need to go and set that to, to, to some sort of unit. Uh, the image size has been set by Spike. And now the overall image size has been calculated from 706 by 529 inches. Now we can do this because Spike's camera, when we took the photograph, has been precisely calibrated. So by having the scale and the precise camera calibration, we can then create an image as we've done now that can be imported directly into AutoCAD for measuring. It's a big picture because it's in real world dimensions. So we take a dimension tool and run it across the surface of interest, there to there, and we can measure a dimension directly of the photograph, 387 inches. So there you go. That's uh, how easy it is to take a spike file and import it directly for measurement in AutoCAD. Thanks.